what's your favorite MSA memory? I would say my favorite MSA memory is when I hosted an iftar at my house and it was just nice having all the brothers over and everyone got to meet my parents and my family. And then after we went to Qiyam at IOK, we stayed there for hours, had some good kanafa. Shout out kanafa time. And yeah, that's my favorite memory. My favorite MSA memory would be my first time coming to iftar with y'all. So it was like, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know anyone, right? So I just walked in and everyone just introduced themselves. It was super cool. Like I got to meet everyone, you know, even though I didn't know you guys, like it was just like, it was like I've seen you guys before, yeah. you know, everyone was just super friendly, super welcoming. And there was like amazing food that day. It was like, they're always bringing good food, but like that day I was like, this is going to be nice, you know? Yeah. So yeah. that would be probably my best, one of my best memories. Cause it was like the first time I was able to meet all you guys and uh, have a star like with a community yeah, yeah. like me, you know? Uh, my favorite MSA memory was actually going to the mugs, a bunch of the sisters. I it, it just started out from like a small invite from Lubna not trying matcha ever. And me being like a huge matcha stan, I was like, let's go to the mugs. They have really good matcha. And then I just invited everyone to the mugs and we all got together. And I think there was like 20 of us going. So I had a really great time over there. What is your favorite MSA memory? So this semester was tough for me because it's the first time being in campus away from my family and honestly after I met you guys it made me feel like I'm home. My favorite MSA memory is playing Among Us on VC and Discord. Okay, what's your favorite MSA memory? It has to be Aftad, bro. It's dude, biryani, uh, Shwarma Loka. Shwarma Loka, dude, everything, bro. What is your favorite MSA memory? Oh man, that's that's a tough one. Um, I gotta say, beating some men in basketball, 25-0, best one. Favorite MSA memory of all time? Honestly, late night talks with some man, bro. Uh, Katan was crazy. This guy lost to me and Boris. <laughs> Absolutely wild. My favorite MSA moment would definitely be from last semester. When we were playing basketball almost every other week. Probably one of my uh, most memorable moments in college so far. What is your favorite MSA memory from this year? Um, I like Tana's party. I loved uh, learning how to dub cut there. <laughs> my favorite MSA moment probably has to be with me, you, Mateen behind the camera, Salman, and uh, Yaman. Since we're such great students, we went and studied at like midnight at the computer lab and we ended up like pulling an all nighter and then instead of studying, we just like started talking about different things, you know, some people wanting to get married, some people did it. Salman's parents, he's trying to get married. And yeah, we just like resulted into us bonding. All right, what is your favorite MSA memory? Um, that's a good question. I don't think I have any like specific favorite memory because every time I hang out with you guys is really nice and heartwarming and I, I don't. <laughs> My favorite MSA moment from this year would probably be the first group of bar we had. Even though it was a lot of people and it was really crowded and kind of busy, I remember like sitting down and feeling such a sense of like peace and community. And it was just a really like wholesome time. And I feel like all of Ramadan has been like that. So I think that was my favorite moment of this year. What's your favorite MSA memory? Um, I would have to say it's pulling an all-nighter at the library. Alright, I'm with the two best Egyptians in the MSA. First question is, what's your guys' favorite MSA memory? Definitely when we uh, pulled up the Batman with like 20 heads. And we took up like two or three rooms. Now, I gotta say the same thing, especially at the end where Mateen just ate it in the theater. I don't know how, but he just, he somehow fell. I don't know, that part, it's like a core memory in my head for some reason. So my favorite MSC memory has to be the Iftars. Um, it's always been like a super fun gathering, um, hanging out with the sisters and eating with them and talking with them. Um, it just felt like a, such a nice and loving like, community. Uh, definitely my favorite MSA moment has to be November 17, 2021, where this photo right here was taken. Basically me, Hamza, Kareem and Saeed drove to Roasting Waters and we decided to take a picture with our hand being a heart and we sent it to the food channel on Discord and <laughs> ever since then it's been just been a rivalry between the brothers and the sisters sending each other uh, food cakes with hearts <laughs> made with our hands and mashallah this group is uh, is very beautiful and I would not want to be in any other MSA. What's your favorite MSA memory? Um, I have a lot just because every time I hang out with the sisters it's always really memorable but I think my favorite MSA memory is when 
me and a couple of the sisters on a whim went to build a bear and got matching teddy bears because we were talking about uh, toys we never had as kids and so we got some build a bears on like a random Thursday. All right, Amar, what is your favorite MSA memory? Tonight when most of the brothers came over to my home for CTM in the store. Okay. What is your favorite MSA memory from this year? My favorite MSA memory was the sisters hike that we did. My favorite MSA memory from this year would have to be when we went to brunch after the morning hike. Um, it was one of the first times where I got to really know a lot of the people in the MSA. Like the first time where I got to meet people and like experience what the CPP MSA was like. My favorite MSA memory is really hard to pick because I feel like every time we hang out with the MSA sisters, we always end up like hysterically laughing every time at the end of the night. But um, I think one of my favorite memories is after Iftar on a Wednesday when we just started fake fighting out of nowhere. I don't know what triggered it, but <laughs> we just started fake fighting and Safia recorded it and that's really all we can say at this moment. <laughs> what are some words you have for someone? I would say I am extremely proud of Sunman. I, I definitely made the right decision in choosing him because not only has he met my expectations, but he has exceeded them by far. I think he did a great job and yeah, I'm just very proud of him. You know when like your parents say like, oh, I want you to have an easy life. Like I want you to be better. That's how I felt with Sunman and like mashallah, he, he did a really great job. I'm very happy with it. I have a lot of words for Sunman. Sunman's a great dude. I mean, I feel like everybody could agree with this. As soon as you meet Salman the first time, you just feel like very welcome. You feel like the heart is at ease. He's just a good guy. Honestly, I'm just really glad that I met him this year and I really think that he's a great mentor and a great friend. What are some words you have for Salman? Uh, two words. Thank you. Uh, you know, he helped me get acquainted with MSA really quick. You know, just comments here and there, really nice things to say, always nice things to say about everybody. You know, he really brought the, the whole MSA community together. That was really nice. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Tyler and Mario? Thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, you've been there for like all of us, so thank you. I want to thank Tyler and Maria for being so welcoming and making the MSA a second home for me and always being inviting and caring whenever I have any issues. What are some words you have for someone? I want to thank him so much for keeping the MSA group all together. Uh, he's also always been nice to everybody. He always welcome everybody in the group. Salman, you're you're amazing, bro. I've been in a lot of clubs. I've you know experienced different presidents, and you, my friend, you're very passionate and dedicated to this club, mashallah. A lot of people don't see the sacrifice that you do for this club to bring us together, bring us amazing thoughts, amazing events, you know, uh, it takes a lot of work. And I think a lot of people don't see that enough and appreciate it. So may Allah reward you, bro. And Jazakallah khairan for an amazing semester, amazing year, bro. Thank you. I have a lot of respect for the president. I know a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes and we will never see that. But I know that Salman has one of the strongest determinations to get things done and alhamdulillah we can see that we can see the effort that he puts into events they go pretty flawless most of the time i think the biggest thing i would want to say to salman is thank you for being so welcoming and generous with your time and your energy i think he's a great president and he really plays i know he plays a big role in making msa the way that it is so i know that it wouldn't be as welcoming or as strong of a community without him so i just want to say i really appreciate your hard work what are a few words you want to say to tala and maria um, just that I love them both so so much and I'm forever grateful for everything that they've done this year on the board um, they were both so welcoming and like just took us all in with open arms and made such a great community space for all the sisters and I love them <laughs> What are some words you want to say to someone? I just want to say he's the greatest president alive. I would trust him with my own kids. He'll, he can take them wherever he wants. All right, what are some words you would like to say to someone? Hey, there's so much I could say. Honestly, though, this is my first year in MSA, and Salman, just as a president, welcomed me with open arms, and alhamdulillah, I'm just very grateful for him just leading the whole way, being very open about everything. I don't know, man, there's so much. I love this guy. What are some words you have for Salman? 
you know, um, when I first came here, like, I didn't really know many people, and he's like, he welcomed me into like, you know, his family, I guess. Um, and you know, he's always been like a brother to me, you know. I live with him, so I see both of the sides, you know, the, the good side and the crazy side. Um, you know, catch him apostle. I don't. That doesn't work, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, but all jokes aside, I love the guy. He's the goat. Do you have anything you'd like to say to Tyler and Maria? Uh, yeah, so I absolutely love Tyler and Maria. Um, you guys are like such supportive sisters, and I like can't imagine like a board like without you guys. Um, you guys are like really amazing. Um, mashallah and Jazakallah khair like for all the help you guys did this year. Is there anything you would like to say to Tala and Maria? Um, I would just want to say thank you very much for making this a very welcoming space. I don't think I would be as active and as involved in the MSA if it wasn't for your guys' uh, energy. <laughs> <laughs> What are some words that you would like to say to our family? Very welcoming. Made my first year very memorable, alhamdulillah. And very hard work in the alhamdulillah. Salman, you're the goat. I love you. What are some things you'd like to say to Tala and Maria? Um, I would like to thank them for everything they've done on board. Um, ever since I came on campus, I really didn't know anyone. And then when I, um, when Kala and Maria messaged me on WhatsApp, they made me feel really welcome to the MSA. And they're just genuinely two of the best people that I've ever met. And they're very sweet and welcoming. And I love them. <laughs> what are some things that you want to tell to Tala and Maria? Thank you guys for being so welcoming and making us all feel like a family. And for all the events that you guys planned. What are some nice words you have for Tala and Maria? Um, I just really appreciate and love them so much and I, I really mean that the amount of stuff that they've done for the MSA and also creating a really welcoming and safe environment for the MSA and for the sisters as well, I felt like I had no trouble reaching out to them and I'm just really appreciative of what they've done and how far they will go in terms of like taking care of us. It really feels like an actual sisterhood. Um, sisters over brothers, goodbye. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. Right, oh shoot, it's flipped on me. It's okay. <laughs> What's up guys? Vlog. It's an MSA vlog. You know, we're out here. It's midnight. We're doing the Hajjud. Feel me? Us three, MSA. The Hajjud prayer vibes. Yalla, salam alaikum. See you guys on the big screen. Okay. What's your... <laughs> Stop. Sorry. What's your favorite MSA memory? My, my favorite MSA memory is playing Among Us and being an amazing imposter with all the MSA people during BC. <laughs> Dude, that was so bad. I don't like it. And this girl's like, yeah. Alright, right, what are some words you have for someone? So, man, uh, you know, I live with the guy. He gets a little crazy sometimes. Ketchup and pasta, you know. But all jokes aside, I love the guy. He's the goat. Straight out of Kenya. Why do you sound like somebody has a gun pointed to your head or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, definitely when you pull up the Batman. <laughs> bro, stop laughing. <laughs> bro. What are some words you have for Salman? Uh, can I'm Arabic best. Full A. All right. What is your favorite MSA memory? I'm not ready for this question. <laughs> Bro, I can't work with y'all. <laughs> Morning hike, and we had the brunch afterwards. Um... <laughs> you want to start over? <laughs> um, to be honest, it's um, Ada's part. Alright, what are some words you have for someone? Um, well, that we do. <laughs>